Ada. And I'm Sophia. Welcome to tonight's Advent Story Time. First, let's light the Advent wreath. We are lighting three candles for the third week of Advent. Tonight, we will read two stories, Emmanuel and Bethlehem. It's okay, you gotta light the Advent wreath. Okay, so you ready? Yes. Smile. Hello, I'm Ada. And I'm Sophia. Welcome to tonight's Advent Story Time. First, let's light the Advent wreath. We are lighting three candles for the third week of Advent. Tonight, we will read two stories, Emmanuel and Bethlehem's Fields. From high up in heaven comes, came sweet singing too, as everything told by Isaiah came true. Emmanuel lay in a manger so small, our God had come down to be with us all. Emmanuel, she will give birth to a son, and he will be called Emmanuel. The name Emmanuel means God with us. Matthew 1, 23. Even hundreds of years passed since Isaiah ran through the streets of Jerusalem, bringing news of a special baby boy who would come into the world and that, and on that Bethlehem night, Isaiah's words would come true. Here lying in the manger was the wonderful advisor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. But did you know that Isaiah also wrote down one more name? It was the name Emmanuel which means God with us. Emmanuel is a beautiful name for Jesus. It means that God came down to earth in human form to live with us and talk with us, to cry with us and walk with us. And that is what Jesus did. When the baby in the manger grew up, he lived in Israel. Jesus told, talked to everyone he met, when, when, whether they were young or old, women or men. When people came with, to him with questions, he listened. He taught people how to pray and told them everything he knew about God. Jesus cried with the two sisters when their brother died. He walked with the 12 disciples on the roads of Galilee and Jerusalem. And the one, most wonderful part of Emmanuel's story is that even after Jesus died, God was still with us. God sent the Holy Spirit to be with us every second of every single day. And that means no matter how we feel, God is with us. When we are happy, God is with us. When we are sad, God is with us. When we play or laugh or cry or question, God is with us. No matter how we feel or where we go, God is always with us. Emmanuel is with us. In Bethlehem's fields not too far away, the shepherds were resting from their busy day. As darkness came creeping, a light filled the sky, and a choir of angels appeared way up high. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was, an, it was night, and they were taking care of their sheep. Luke 2, 8. Do you know who the very first people were to hear the news of Emmanuel's birth? Since a new king had just been born, you might think that all the important people in Bethlehem would be told first. After all, when a royal prince or princess is born today, the news is given to all the important people in the government first, before anyone else finds out. But when Jesus was born, some very ordinary people were told of, were the first to be told. The wonderful news of uh, his arrival had come to the shepherds first. On that holy night, in the shepherds, the shepherds in Bethlehem's fields were watching over their sheep, just like every other night when something truly amazing happened. The royal birth announcement came from heaven itself. What a wonderful privilege for those shepherds, those whose days were so ordinary. A day in, in the life of a shepherd in Bethlehem was a busy one. His job was to take care of his sheep every day early in the morning. He would uh, wake them and uh, together they would set off. 
and down the hillsides in search of the greenest grass and the cleanest water. The shepherd would always be in the lead and his sheep would always follow behind. If uh, any baby lambs got tired on the way, he would pick them up and carry them on his shoulders. If any sheep got stuck on the hillside, the sh shepherd would gently hook his staff around their neck and lift them to safety. At night before darkness fell, the shepherd would count all his sheep, lead them back to the fold, and lie down with them. But he wouldn't go to sleep. Nighttime could be dangerous. Once it was dark, a shepherd had to be careful. Wolves or bears or mountain lions could sneak up and snatch one of the sheep away. A shepherd wouldn't really expect anything good to happen at night. But on the night Jesus was born, something utterly amazing happened in the darkness. Those ordinary shepherds were about to hear the most wonderful news in the world. Just when they least expected it, good news was about to come. Please pray with me. Dear God, thank you that you watch over each one of us just like the shepherd watches over his sheep. Amen. Amen. Okay.